so what's up? A series of conversations that we had at Team Block. So it started off by um, what would you like to change in schools? And so um, the whole group came up with a list of laundry list of different things that we like to see change in our schools. And then we saw that there was um, some uh, replicas uh, between uh, between different things so we made categories out of them and out of those categories we came up with we wanted to have 10 to mirror the Bill of Rights in the Constitution so we decided to have 10 rights that we think that all students should have inside and outside of the classroom but still in the school community and um, after that 10 was made the initial 10 um, we went through we went to other students and saw their opinions about what they thought the student Bill of Rights meant to them and from there we took their inputs into making the final Bill of Rights that um, that we were using for a campaign how we deserve to be served and in the summer um, there were three interns and those interns uh, pretty much drafted out our campaign called we deserve to be served and how it will play out in the next coming months Some of the things we're asking for in the student bill of rights are to have effective transportation to have um, freedom of voice and speech so just general things that we feel that um, students are entitled to so not necessarily um, rule changes about cell phones and things like that, but more basic things that as students we feel that we deserve to further our education. So um, what we hope to accomplish with this is to um, get it into the school code of conduct and to really get um, each school to ratify it so that this is a living document that does affect students on a daily basis. So right in our campaign we are done with the ratification. So originally we wanted one-fourth of the student uh, whole population of Pittsburgh Public School high school students and so that was around 1,600 and um, our final number was around 1,700 students. So right now we are trying to make uh, present the student bill rights formally to the Board of Education, the nine members, and then um, have them vote on it. Um, we're hoping in February to have a board tap and, and uh, allow for them to vote to ratify the Student Bill of Rights. I know from my own experience when um, I went to go and get votes for this, um, a lot of students were really excited. They were happy that there's somebody out there who is trying to make um, these changes that they see need to be made. And um, in general, my peers, um, they really support it. Uh, so our supporters include MGR A plus and um, Dr. Holly and uh, Bill Eisner and the 1,700 students that signed to ratify the Student Bill of Rights. Uh, so what we really need now is to have representation from all schools, all nine high schools, and we would love for um, all members that, um, that that heard about the Student Bill of Rights, if you feel like it's a very good thing to be involved with, come to a team block session and be part of the conversation and be uh, a change agent that you would like to see in your high schools. And if you are not able to come to a team block session, we would still like for you to support us. You can follow us on uh, Twitter at teen underscore block, B-L-O-C, and like us on Facebook at teen block. Uh, I'll be pretty candid. Uh, what really brought me here is I was nominated in my school and they told me it was a great thing to be involved with, but do I know what I was going to be involved with? Not really, when I walked through the door. And so the, the free food and the bus tickets and, um, and the brag sheets that I, will, uh, I could put on my college transcript, that was all fantastic. But what really kept me here were the people. The people were really supportive and they, um, they actually want to do something to, um, to help other people, which I thought was fantastic. Because you can always see something on paper as being something great and they can help people but team block is actually doing something we're actually taking action on um, all of our ideas and all of our um, inputs that we want to see change in our um, in our school community and I have two younger sisters that have a long <laughs> long <laughs> way to go with um, Pittsburgh Public Schools and if I could help them in any way shape or form in their future in Pittsburgh Public Schools now before I leave next year then that'll be fantastic so they're definitely what's keeping me here I guess I would say what brought me here initially was um, my mom recommended me to come and I came and what's been keeping me coming is that I'm now invested in the work that we do and I see that it can and has started to make change in my daily life and the people around me so I keep coming to um, keep trying to help make change.